It's Movie Night with Will DeVacus! No special guest this week because nobody likes Will. Main theme by Here Comes the Mummy! And because someone fed him after midnight, here's your host, Sir Will DeVacus! Hello there! Welcome, welcome. This is your Movie Night. I'm Will DeVacus. Thank you for tuning in. I want to start off this show by giving a few shout-outs to a few of my friends who own businesses. First off, I want to talk about Biddy Mold Supply. Now, what does Biddy stand for, Will? Well, it's simple. Biddy stands for Brick in the Yard. A lot of people contact me. They go, hey, Will, listen, you know, I want to get into the special effects game, but I don't know how to get started. I don't know where to buy materials. Biddy Mold Supply is the perfect place to check out. They get everything you need. They're affordable. And if you place an order, they are guaranteed to not kill a kitten. Now, wait a minute. I can't speak for anybody else in their competition. I can't speak for them, okay? But I know for sure that Biddy does not do that. So if you're interested in special effects makeup, check them out. They have all kinds of cool things, including this stuff called Gel 10, which I discovered from them years ago. It, it's, it's an awesome silicone. They have a cut kit that's really simple. You can use it out of the kit, right on the skin. Looks pretty awesome. So if you're into special effects makeup, check it out. I also want to say Warren Station. Now, Warren Station, this is a local company here. Warren Station is a restaurant. I went to lunch today. Awesome food, guys. I had the, the turkey club sandwich. It was really, really good. The service was what was really kind of made me want to go there. Uh, it, it was really good service. A lot of young people working there. I know a lot of people who, who go out and eat. They want a, a, a nice eclectic crowd there. Uh, it was kind of dead. To be, to be quite honest. So go there, support your local businesses. I really liked Warren Station. I went there as a kid. I think we have a picture uh, of me. Yeah, that was, that was before they took out the horse. So check it out, guys. Warren Station, really good. Scott Mumford is the owner. Really nice guy. I met him today. We had a nice, uh, we toss words around uh, as we do. And uh, his assistant manager of food and stuff, uh, Henry Clay Johnson, was there as well. That's not really his title, but he's a nice guy. And uh, just Warren Station, Fenwick Island. I think they're located, uh, located on uh, Coastal Highway in Fenwick Island. If you have a chance, go there. It's a really family-friendly oriented place. Really good food. Now, one thing I want to do before we hit headlines was I have been contacted uh, by somebody to test a product. I'm kidding. I'm lying. I went out and got one of these things called Royal Portraits. And, well... We received it, and I'm going to unbox it here live on the show. Uh, so let's see here. First off, I want to say that the packaging's really good. It's, it's, a, it's a good package here. It's made of cardboard, and I think there was some duct tape or scotch tape or something they used to, to seal it. Now, of course, it, you know if you know me, I like untaping things, but we had already kind of pre-opened it. I haven't seen it. The producers have seen it. So this is the first time of me taking a look. I don't know what was ordered. Uh, I just know that I paid for it. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? This is like the next best thing since gin and tonic. You guys see that? Is this, is this Craig Kilborn as the Duke? Is it like, is it like homemade? All right, enough of that bull crap. So listen, this is, uh, I wanted to get one of these made, and I figured the best person to get made was Craig Kilborn, because he's one of my favorite talk show hosts. Um, I don't know. Can you see that there, Ben? Is that perfect? So let's uh, turn to this camera really quickly, because I like this camera. Not as much as I like that camera. But uh, just a few thoughts. Now, I, I, I'm not an art aficionado. I, I'm not really an artist. I don't really know much about art. What I do know is, for the price I paid for this, I mean, it's cool. But I would have rather given that money to like a local artist to make something like this. I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a cool thing. I sent them about two or three pictures, I think uh, two, uh, of Mr. Kilborn. One from his heydays and one now. You almost can't tell the, dis the difference. He's, he's aged beautifully, like a fine wine. But uh, they did a pretty good job uh, doing the manipulation. I think they did some Photoshop here. There's a few small divots I see in the glasses, but you know, if it's something you want to do for a family or friend or, or something like that, it is kind of worth the money. We went to the, the, the toppest tier, the biggest one you can get for like about a hundred bucks. Um, not bad. 
worth it. For, it's a great gag gift. It's a good gift. I'm going to probably buy a hundred of these and, and try to tell people that Craig Kilborn's immortal and he's been around for centuries. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about getting a couple of these of all my favorite talk show hosts. I'll get one of like Letterman and, and Carson and stuff. So here he is, Craig Kilborn as the Duke. So I don't know. I don't know if Craig even has an interest in this. So, you know, Royal Portraits, check them out. If you want to get something, you can definitely check them out on their website. Uh, they're all over Facebook. That's how I found them. So, anyway, you know what time it is, guys? It's time for headlines. This week's headlines are brought to you by Millsboro Music. Again. Also, don't forget to check out Warren Station in Fenwick Island. Nobody likes Will except Millsboro Music. Yes, yes, if you're local, check out Millsboro Music or go have lunch at Warren Stations in Fenwick Island. First off, I want to say that uh, I think news has broke that I think June 12th is when film productions in Hollywood are going to start back up, which is a good thing. So anybody who's working on a production, congratulations, get back to work, start making some great films. I, I, you know, there's a lot of stories that were in the news this week, and I kind of chose the ones that I thought were some of the best. And one of them is about Danny Hicks. It was released, if you don't know who Danny Hicks is, Danny Hicks is an actor. He was best known for his role as Jake in Evil Dead 2. He was in Dark Man. Uh, he works a lot with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. Uh, he's a great character actor. I really enjoy watching him. Um, he just announced that he has stage four cancer. Now, I don't know what kind of cancer. That's not my business to say, but it is sad because, you know, cancer is a thing that, it just happens. You know, it doesn't, you can't really, it doesn't pick or choose. It just kind of happens. And, and people don't really, individuals who get it don't really have the control over it. It just, like I said, it happens. And it's, it, it is upsetting. A lot of people do have cancer. Uh, I, I'm not just saying, you know, I'm not just promoting Danny's Hicks situation. Uh, you know, if anybody else wants to promote their, their ad, send them to us here at Movie Night talkshow at gmail.com, but this was a definitely a case that is being passed around the internet, and he has been in a few of my favorite films, so I felt like I had to say something about it. Uh, cancer sucks. There, there's no way around it. And uh, to help pay for medical costs, Danny is selling autographed photographs of himself um, because I don't think he's able to get out to, to conventions. He's probably not able to work. He, he posted a photo on uh, Facebook. We have it right here. He's looking a little frail, to be honest with you. He looks a little rough. So he has about one to three years left to live. It is really rough. Uh, I first saw him in Evil Dead 2 as Jake. He played like this rednecky character. It was really funny, really good. Uh, you know, and he was in My Name is Bruce uh, that Bruce Campbell did. Uh, great actor. And it's a shame. If you don't have the money for an autographed picture of Danny, you can, uh, there's, a, there's a GoFundMe that you can check out and just any little bit counts, you know, it really, really help them out. So, you know, link for both of those are in the description, check it out. And, you know, if you decide to support, thank you for the support. Moving into pre-production at fast speeds is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yes, on May 29th or May 28th, it was announced that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 would be going into pre-production, meaning somebody's probably getting a script together. I saw the first film and it came out right before COVID-19 kind of happened. I had a lot of fun with it. You know, a lot of people were like, yeah, it's hit and miss. You know, it was one of the first movies since the 90s that Jim Carrey was in where I was kind of like, oh my God, this is funny. It's almost like 90s Jim Carrey has come back. Um, he's grown a lot as, a, as, a, as an actor and a performer over the years. He's done some really great movies. But as far as like, you know, his attitude and wackiness, it was, felt just like Liar Liar or Ace Ventura. He did a really good job. Now, I'm not discounting the other actors. I think Ben Schwartz did a really good job as the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, Go check it out when it comes out. I guess uh, we'll have to wait another year or so. Great movie. Thank God the studio had that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog redesign because he was looking pretty creepy there. It looked a lot like Nicolas Cage. Although I think they fired the team that did the, the, the graphics, you know, which is a fucking shame. Terrible. In case you're still sad about the Danny Hicks story, I try to lighten the mood a little bit. Here's a bit of good news that nobody asked for, but hey, I'm glad it's here. In case you ever wanted an action figure of Wayne Knight, well, your dreams have come true. Yes, that's right. They are making an action figure of Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park, complete with Barbasol can. It is part 
of a collection called the Amber series of, of I guess, characters from the Jurassic films that were all going to be <laughs> kind of placed in this toy line. It's an odd thing, but I, I'm kind of happy about it. it it's it's going to look great on my computer desk, I'll tell you that much. And looking at the picture, just a few notes. It doesn't really look like Wayne Knight. It looks a lot like Bobby Moynihan from <laughs> SNL fame, which is great because I think we need a Bobby Moynihan action figure. I love Bobby Moynihan, but it doesn't look a lot like Wayne Knight. It has some resemblance, but both are really, really good uh, character actors that I would like to see a lot more work from. Uh, Wayne Knight was excellent in Punisher Warzone, which I think is an underrated movie. Ben will fight me tooth and nail on that, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. See? But, uh,. Uh, Bobby Moynihan will probably take that role over in the next Punisher film playing Micro, which would be pretty cool. We can only hope. Who is Max Steiner? Max Steiner is a name you probably are not familiar with, but you could find out more about him by reading his new biography. A new biography about Max Steiner, <laughs> which was written by Stephen C. Smith. It's called Music by Max Steiner, the Epic Life of Hollywood's Most Influential Composer. It chronicles one of the pioneers of motion picture music, yes. Max Steiner was a, uh, a film composer who worked on movies like Casablanca, Gone with the Wind, King Kong. I think he helped save RKO from bankruptcy. Really neat stuff. Check out the book. The book is the, the link to the book will be in the description. It is a little pricey, but it's a pretty decent book. And I don't know much about Max Steiner. I'll be a, I'll be the first to admit it. I'm going to pick up the book. I want to check it out. I'm curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Um, I'm going to go and back and listen to some of his. Uh, his, his composing work, because uh, I, like, I, I'm a big fan of Jerry Goldsmith. I've listened to almost everything he's done. Uh, but somebody like this, I've never really, never really delved into. I haven't really delved into the 20s, 30s, and 40s music of, of cinema. Um, so that's cool. Check out. Links in the description. All right. Passing away this week. Chris Trousdale of Dream Street fame passed away at 34. He uh, passed away of COVID-19 complications. Now, uh, I feel bad for the family. You know, he was a very young man, very talented young man. Uh, so Chris, you know, my heart goes out to you and your family. Rache Caldwell, former NFL wide receiver, was shot and killed uh, during an attempted robbery. He was on his way to take his girlfriend out and was ambushed by a group of guys uh, in Florida. He was fatally injured after somebody shot him in both the chest and the leg. Uh, 911 was called. He was on his way to the hospital when he uh, passed away. Character actor Richard Hurd passed away from complications with cancer. He was best known for playing one of the many bosses that George Costanza had, uh, Mr. Wilhelm, on Seinfeld. Uh, he was 87. Mary Pack Leeson also passed away at 70 uh, after battling cancer. Her manager said that Mary was a fighter and fought to the bitter end. All right, let's get into... Ooh, ah, what is that? Mm, ah, yes. mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, the... Orson Welles? Yes, it is I. What the... Orson Welles. What the hell are you doing here? Well, my friend, I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things, and that's wine. You see, Little Arnold's wine, it's the best wine there is. Made in the town of Paris, uh, France, Ohio. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't be peddling that stuff here. Look, we've already had our free promotional stuff that we mentioned on the show earlier. You can't Listen, be... Brookie. Wine is made in Little Arnold's cellar by the finest little hands money can buy. Did I mention it's a dollar twenty-five? No, Orson, you gotta stop. You got. You know, it's like Little Arnold said: if it's cheap, they'll buy it. No, you you, you can't do that here. Oh yes, I can. Orson, Orson. <sighs> oh. Klaatu Verata Nicktu. <laughs> Folks, I apologize about that. I have no idea why he decided during a show to haunt my ass and try to peddle some wine that nobody's ever heard of and never will drink. So I apologize. But I do want to take this moment really quickly to address the elephant in the room right now or in the, in the world. Uh, as you all know, there's a lot of things going on. Tension is high. Um, 
some issues have been brought up with, with uh, Black Lives Matter. Um, I don't think there's any issues at all. I support Black Lives Matter. I just want to let everybody know where I stand. And I want to thank those who are out there peacefully protesting. You know, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the show. And uh, be safe out there if you're protesting. Okay? Good night, guys. This, this is your martini shot. Have a good night, guys. Sexy car. Autopilot. Switching Mel's bathroom in 10 minutes. I'll meet you there. Oh, I'm taking that painting. Watch me. <laughs>